guys and welcome to a new vlog. So for this weekend's vlog, I am getting my second Pfizer shot. I didn't really talk about my first one that much on YouTube anyway. Um, but I only had like 48 hours of a sore arm and that was like all the side effects. I've heard the second is worse, but I don't think it will be to be honest, but you never know. So I'm going there now. So what you need, uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna show it the front, <laughs> but we have my ID in here and then the car. You saw that little bit, you can't get any info Russians. But um, going to the place, mine is like at, uh, where I got mine is like at an arena and you drive in. So that's what I'm doing. And this is probably the most action this arena's got in years. Cause they cancel shows the last minute every time and that's bad, but it's not people I care about seeing, so it doesn't matter. But that's what we're doing. I'm wearing my Lannister mask for the 10 year anniversary of Game of Thrones. Not really, but it is the 10 year anniversary. But here we go. There's like no one here compared to when I came the first time. And the first time there were like four lanes of these cars. But it looks like there's only one today. In my state, South Carolina, there has been a problem of people not getting their second shots. I don't know what goes through your mind to get your first and not your second, but um, so this is what it looks like right now. So the wait shouldn't be long at all. And it says you have to get there, you, you can only get there like 10 minutes before your appointment and mine is at um, 1.30 is it at? I'm just showing that it's 1.30. So I mean, I still have like 20 minutes, but I mean, I don't think they would kick you out if you got there like too early or anything, but I don't know, so don't listen to me. <laughs> so if you get kicked out, that's not my fault. That's all on you. This is what it looks like on the ground. I'm gonna cover their license plate, but that is what it looks like. Again, this is very desolate. This is like a Zaxby's drive through everybody. Because <laughs> Zaxby's is only wrapped around the building. It's probably the same amount of cars, but this is what it looks like on the outside. Okay, so we're on this part now. They just told us like you have to turn off your engine and all in there and turn the car off, whatever, once we get inside. Okay guys, we are about to go inside. This is how you get in an arena if you're curious, like elephants at the circus, they come in through here. But here we go. Kind of nervous, but it's all good. I don't really like, it's fine. <laughs> I've been way more nervous than this in my life before. So this is nothing. We got here, we go. Inside. This is how cars get inside buildings. But I'm gonna put y'all down in this spot in a minute. And once we get inside, so y'all can see me like get my shot. Hopefully they tell me like not to stop recording. <laughs> Yeah, here's what the inside looks like. I'm gonna take a picture on my phone because I am documenting on there as well. On my Snapchat. Don't ask for my Snapchat because I don't give it out. On, um, to people I don't know. So we're posting that on my story. The front chat sent has been in abundance today. <laughs> French people watching this are probably like, that's a terrible accent, but I don't care. So yeah, basically they have like three people telling you, you have to turn your cars off inside because like carbon monoxide poisoning, they don't want that. <laughs> or are you running over the nurses? I guess, I don't know. Um. Yeah, I'll just record until we get up there so y'all can see like how many cars can get in at once and all of that. Yeah, I didn't.
don't think it would take this long. <laughs> Two minutes. Let's see this. The focus is in the lighting. I'm sure all the towing cars are behind us. And do y'all know about this Mandela effect? The objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. I remember it saying maybe closer, but it says they are now. And that's a big Mandela effect I see on Reddit all the time. So tell me in the comments, what do you guys remember? There's what up there looks like through the sunroof. We love this commentary. It's kind of cold here today. It's 55. I don't remember what that is. Is that like 15 in Celsius? I don't remember. Um, oh, here we go. Here we go. This guy's going to be like, what are you doing? <laughs> the camera. No. Okay. Um, we're getting closer and closer inside. So the cars leave like literally right over there. So here we go. This is what the inside looks like. What's up? Give me. Do you lay down the end of your hand? That's a call right there. Thank you. Huh? Okay, so I'm about to put y'all down in the seat. Okay. <laughs> you getting your vaccine today? Do yes. I have your, can I get your card here? How are y'all doing today? Good. Good, thank you. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth, let me see. Mm. There you go. <laughs> this your date of birth. Um, July 29th, 1999. Way to go. <laughs> I have some questions to ask, but I want you to roll down to the first, and then I'll get your questions there, okay? okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, I have some questions here. Um, all right. Are you an employee or a student at MUSC? No. Okay. Uh, do you consent to receive the vaccine and have MUSC bear your insurance if necessary? Yes. Uh, are you feeling <laughs> sick today? No. Uh, have you received another vaccine in the past two weeks? Well, the last one. Okay, this one was three weeks oh. ago, but in the past two weeks, no. nothing? Okay. Um, you got the Pfizer. Have you ever had treatment for COVID in which you had to, none? No. Okay. Have you, did you have a severe allergic reaction to your last COVID vaccine? No. Uh, have you ever had a severe allergic reaction to any vaccine? No. Alrighty. Which arm? This one. Alright. Can I open this door? Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> there we go. You got me locked now. <laughs> I want you to relax this arm. There you go. Because you tense up, it's going to hurt later. It might not hurt now when I'm doing it, but that muscle's going to get irritated if you tense up. So. Yeah, there you go. Increase your fluids. If you have any adverse reactions, emergency room. 
Okay, thank you. Yeah. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'll suddenly get the shot. It's that easy. It did not hurt. So here is my sticker that I am vaccinated. Y'all got all my information with my Q&A there. But here we go outside. Um, it didn't hurt. It doesn't hurt right now. But it was about two or three hours, I think, is when it started to hurt. And um, yeah, so here we go. I just all heard her say you have to wait in the parking lot for 15 minutes. Y'all heard the lady explain it all. So thank you. Um, I'm not going to explain again, but we just go up here and you sit and chill and we're good to go. So, which yeah, I don't think <laughs> anything crazy will happen um, because nothing happened. Ah. happened the first time, so I'm not too concerned. So we have one more minute and then I am good to go. I heard like cars, like when you talk on the phone, how you can hear it like outside the car. Or like when the phone is ringing, if you have your phone connected and the people can hear it, yeah. Is that scared me? A car for me. <laughs> okay, I'm good to go, whatever these cars are doing. Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm going to Zaxby's right now. Yeah, here we go, <laughs> leaving. For sure I'll leave in. I feel fine, I feel exactly how I felt before. It doesn't hurt. I wouldn't have known I got a shot <laughs> if I like, I don't know. I don't know how to word that, but y'all know what I mean. So this is us leaving. The landscaping at this place is really bad and it stresses me out. I just had to point it out. Um, I get we're in a pandemic, but this place is still having concerts and everything. They don't care. Uh, <laughs> so they should do better with their grass. Like look at all the weeds. Like it's bad. But yeah, so there we go. I survived. This is going to be a reading vlog, but don't worry, but I don't read till three, so in about an hour from reading Uprooted by Naomi Novik. Um, it's all right, but we'll get into my thoughts on that later. So I'm home now in my messy room. Mask is off. Um, yeah, I really like this shirt I want to try out. I got it, I got it literally a long time ago, my unmade bed. With yet to have the sheets that I bought on Amazon, but I do have sheets and they will go up soon. But um, this shirt, it was like top knot something, is like what it said. Um, I don't know, I can't get it turned around, but I really like it. Like, I feel like even the bottom, I know that I shouldn't have lifted it up like that. Um, it's like, I don't know what the fit, they're, they're shirts that are made today, but it's supposed to look 70s. And I feel like this is like, even just the shape and all the shirt and everything. But yeah, there's where I got the vaccine. I feel like this one took longer, but maybe I wasn't as relaxed because the lady like kept telling me to relax. And that's me with everything. Like when I get my nails done, the guy will always be like, relax. And I'm like, I don't know how to relax. Put on ASMR and I'll relax. But for normal stuff, I don't know how to. Not normal, like anything like I don't know how to relax I'm always oh my gosh crazy all the time <laughs> so I'm gonna eat my lunch now I got Zaxby's I don't know if I said that I was getting Zaxby's and I'll read at three which there's the time and I will update y'all then I'm if it's kind of hard. I think it's just the lighting though but I am about to start reading so here is uprooted um, it's okay so far. I'm 147 pages in, so let me put what page I'm starting on today. Um, oh my gosh, I look, I kept spelling it wrong. Um, I don't get why the wizard guy, um, the dragon as they call him, hates the main character, um, so much. I don't understand why. I think it's really immature and he's supposed to be like hundreds of years old. Um, and I think he's really immature. Um, I feel like this book, it, it is a very long book. This is the longest book so far that I've read this month, but I feel like 
the pa the pacing is too fast it's just i feel like not a lot of building but then they're in one building and don't leave so what can you do but i think for like our main character going to the tower i think that should have been more spread out so i don't know if this book is supposed to last the whole 10 years that the character is in the tower um because i did talk in my video on my tbr video what this is about so like that's why i'm not explaining it here because i won't view some of that tbr video and if you have good reads you can just look it up or i mean you can look up book synopsis anywhere but i'm gonna read three to four chapters right now i'm reading 10 chapters a day i should finish tomorrow if it goes to planned which right now it doesn't seem like it is because i am bored um these chapters are just very long like don't make chapters over 15 pages please all right so i just finished reading for the three o'clock hour i'm looking to um i was looking for good reads <laughs> so i'm on page 214 which is chapter 16 i read like what, five chapters then which is more than I thought I would. So yeah, my computer updated and I'm, the internet's all different, which is annoying. Microsoft thinks, Bill Gates thinks, no. <laughs> so update progress. So I was, oh, I was on 146, so now I'm on 216. So I was at 34%. So let's see what I'm at now. 214 update progress which is 49 percent so this is basically the halfway point of the book so i thought basically they went into the wood is what it's called it kind of reminds me of the upside down and stranger things um and because you get all these toxins in you and all of that and then it reminds me of in game of thrones beyond the wall there's like a forest i forget the name um but it's like basically in this wood um it's rare for people to come back alive and if they do they're usually corrupted and they're on a mission to find the old queen and all of that so that's why they're going into the wood so that's where i'm at but i just feel like i'm skimming a lot and then i have to go back and read because i'm like wait what and that's not good when that happens with books but it happens i can't do anything about it i didn't write the book so that's all for the three o'clock hour and then i'll read again at six okay so i just finished reading for the six o'clock hour i am on chapter 20 so i only have that chapter to read then i'm done for the day um i changed how i do it where i would read like four chapters at the three o'clock hour three at six and then three at nine um i just changed to see how many i can read in an hour and then at nine if it's not an even amount i just read the rest in the nine o'clock hour so we're going to goodreads to put in the number and all of that to see our percentage if it will load okay update your progress and i am at what page 269 so they're like in the city now the capital city to let y'all know this is like oh i'm at 62 percent just to say um this is like polish inspired um, by the names and all that and the name of the kingdoms like paulina i think and then their rival is russia so basically russia i'm probably saying these names wrong because i'm not doing the audiobook or anything um this book was like really popular when i first got on booktube it, or it may have been her other book um i cannot remember the name of right now but it's a blue cover this cover is so pretty but the book isn't that great i feel like there's just a bunch of words on the page to have a bunch of words um to be honest i think that's a bit excessive i'm seeing there's the name of the other book no there's a series this is a standalone fantasy which i do like when books are standalones um and then with film i'm the complete opposite i like a tv series rather than a movie because i like to just have something for a long time because i don't binge but that is all the reading for the six o'clock hour i'm going to go over there and um up upload like a schedule upload my asmr video which y'all would have already seen and then i'm going to go eat lasagna for dinner in the kitchen
Okay, so I am done reading for the day. I'm on chapter 21, which is two, eight, page 286. I don't have much to say because literally that was like less than 20 pages from when I last um, talked to y'all. So I'm logging that into my Goodreads update progress. So we are at 66%. So I should finish this tomorrow. So I'm wondering how I told y'all like how this is like set in like a Polish inspired world of spinning silver, which is the other standalone fantasy by Naomi Novik and it has kind of a similar cover. I'm wondering if that takes place in the Russian inspired country that is like in this same universe, but I don't know any of that for a fact and I don't want to look because I do not want to be spoiled. So we're going to do what I do when I finish a book. So I'm reading 10 chapters a day. So we're going to put my sticky note on chapter 31, if that is a chapter. There's actually 32 chapters in this. So we're just going to have to up my reading tomorrow, which is perfectly fine. Yeah, it should be less than 100 pages. Yeah, it's like... I, I don't want to do math right now, but it is less than 100 pages that I have to read tomorrow. But let's see how many pages I read today. So 286. I have to get my phone's being really slow. Okay, 286 minus 147. So I read 139 pages today. So I read more yesterday, and yesterday um, definitely felt like more. So... Here's this page of my reading. And then I have my page for, yeah, this is actually like a planning section, but I put my reading on there. But they also have this page. Um, so how many, 139. So I just fill it out all the way. Coloring in that bar graph. So this vlog might only be Thursday and Friday because I actually don't, and um, Monday, I don't read on weekends anymore since I have 25%, um, yeah, 20, over 25% of the way to my goal. Once I hit 50, I'll give myself five days to read books instead of three days. So yeah, that's still kind of wet, but there's today the 22nd. And really quickly, because my battery is dying, um, I'm going to take a picture for my bookstagram after this of my book haul for the month and then I'm going to um, take a shower. We're doing my hair. It's Monday. You are probably wondering why I didn't vlog on Friday. It's the vaccine, let me tell y'all. So, as y'all know, I got my vaccine 1.30 on Thursday. This is my second shot with Pfizer. So I got that. And I was fine throughout the whole day. I wake up at like 3.30 and I'm like, something's not right. Something's wrong. Um, I'm doing my hair somewhere for this curler seat up. So I was like, something is not right. I don't know. I just don't feel right. So then around 4 a.m. I was like, I'm going to throw up. So I ran in here to the bathroom, threw up. I threw up three times between like 4 and 6 a.m. And it was terrible. I haven't felt this sick. I don't feel sick anymore, but I haven't felt that sick in forever. So I just felt nauseous. Like it was really kind of like motion sickness. Anytime like I'd roll over, be like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna throw up. And I usually just gagged, but um, because I had like nothing in me. So um it was terrible. I'm gonna lower the camera a little bit. Um then all day Saturday, um I just felt really weak. And then I was just like, I really want a baked potato. So I'm getting a baked potato. So I went to Wendy's, got a baked potato. Thankfully they had them because they like never do. So I got a baked potato and that really brought my strength back. And um, I felt a lot more like myself. Um, and then on Sunday, I did on Saturday, I did wake up feeling like I was gonna throw up and I gagged, but um, I think it could have been cause like low blood sugar. Um, because I hadn't had like anything to eat in over like 15 hours. So I think that's what that was about. So I had applesauce and Sprite and um, I, I've been drinking a ton of water and Gatorade and I should be brushing my hair right now. But um, yeah, it was not fun on Sunday. I mean, I still felt kind of weak. I wasn't 100% and I hope this doesn't go up. But um, yeah, I didn't feel 100% myself. 
I, mean, I still feel kind of, I don't know, I don't feel like I'm fooling myself again, but I mean, hopefully <laughs> we start to feel better and all of that. But that's not our big issue today. So this could be a fail. I probably shouldn't show this, but these hot pants, um, the zipper, I pulled the zipper down to put them on and now it won't come back up. So it's a good thing I'm wearing something long and I'm not really wearing them as pants. Um, I'm just wearing it to have something under this. Um, so that is like really frustrating because they are vintage from the 60s or 70s. I don't remember. So like I don't want to risk damaging them. Also, I did a new makeup thing where I like contoured and all that. I feel like my face just looks dirty, so I don't know if it actually looks good or what. So who knows? Um, combing my hair now. But yeah, I read, um, so I didn't read it all Friday because like that would be a fail if I did that. Um, so I didn't read then. And I need to get the clips out of here. Okay, so I didn't read, but I did read um, a few chapters, three or four, this afternoon um, at the two o'clock hour before I started doing my makeup and all of that. This looks so funny how this, how it goes up, you know? Yeah, these curlers, I don't think do a great job, but I'm only on like my third time using them. So it's probably me and not the curlers. But here we go. These bangs on the side. I'm gonna cut my bangs on Friday. Um, I'm doing this wrong. I can't get it. How can I do the other side? But yeah, I'm gonna just trim them, not like, you know, majorly cut them. Like I did at the last vlog. So I look like a space alien or something right now. So yeah, these things are steaming, but they're like fabric in the middle, so it um, doesn't hurt or anything to touch. I mean, probably if you touched it a long time, it would. But um, it's not too bad. Um, Starman by David Bowie was on. I was listening to, I think, 1972. Y'all may have to correct me on what year. Um, a rock playlist. Where should I put this one? Where should I put it? Just have one like random curl. Yeah, that's how we do it. This is how we do it. Oh my gosh, I didn't like way back. Because so I like to use all of them. Oh my gosh, I put my shawl like right over that. That's not good. I'm not trying to catch on fire here. Okay. So I need to leave this in for 10 minutes. So what time is it? 3.57. So I know my phone is on here because I was looking as you can see. On that, to how to accentuate my eye, I'm still not doing fantastic, but um, what can you do? So 10 minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna take pictures and then I'm going to um, film my ASMR video. And then I'm gonna film next week's video because technically the video you're watching right now is this week's. So then I'm gonna film next week's video, which I think it's all the sci-fi books on my TBR, so like spoiler. I look like a sci-fi character right now, very funny looking, especially these. Um, so I'll show y'all in 10 minutes what this looks like. It's falling, but yeah, um, I fixed my zipper on my pants. David Bowie in the afterlife, please don't copyright me. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take these things out now. This one is going to be a fell right here. I mean, it kind of bounces up, but not how it needs to. So I'm doing my bangs last. So the random one back here, kind of see curlers. I'm just not good at it again. It's only my third time. I'll get better. Um, that, yeah, that side is definitely better. That gave me more of what I wanted. 
I look like an alien. <laughs> I look like I'm an alien. Okay, the bangs are what I care the most about. And look perfect. <laughs> it looks funny just having the one. I look like um, a movie star from whatever. Or like your parents a movie star, oh my gosh. Okay, and then this one. I'm not gonna call himself. See this bang doesn't go like out like that one, which is annoying. So I'm just gonna have to play with it um, again because I didn't know what I was doing with that side early. <laughs> um, but this side looks really good. Um, I don't like that much forehead room. I feel like it makes my forehead look really pointed, but I think it's only when I'm looking down at this when I'm looking in the mirror. It looks fine. So put all those back in the thing. So I'm gonna go take my pictures for Instagram now. If you follow me on there, they're already uploaded by the time you're seeing this, me playing with these things. But yeah, this, this side is exactly what I want. Then this side, I don't know what it was doing. My right side, see the side that I, is my dominant side. I can't, I can't work with. I'm gonna do a model walk for y'all. I'll just show you my outfit of the day. Crooked, but this is from Hazy Days Vintage. My pants are from eBay. And then these are from <laughs> Ann Taylor Factory. And this is my outfit of the day again. I'll do another walk. There you go. I don't know how much y'all could see. Okay, so I just read, I don't know how many more chapters, but I'm on page 389, chapter 29, right there. So I'm going to put it all into Goodreads. So right now I feel like shocking things are happening just to be shocking, kind of like season eight of game of thrones like who they put on the throne i felt like they only did that for the shock factor wow factor um that stuff feels like this is right now but it, i am feeling stressed i'm nervous i don't know why i'm nervous and this is 89 percent and it's 709 um so i mean i guess that's good that i am feeling the emotions and everything but um, yeah, I'm kind of like stressed out. <laughs> like, I was nervous reading just out on the chapter. I just read chapter 28. Um, I mean, there's kind of like the Night King vibes. Um, I don't want to go too into that because it'd be spoilery, spoilery. But I just finished reading that. So um, I'm going to eat some dinner, some leftover mac and cheese from last night and then tea and yeah um i'm going to eat that and then we will oh, i really need to clean my bedroom i'm gonna clean before i do that because as i said i was sick i was drinking 10 gatorade there's bottles everywhere and trash because i didn't want to get out of bed to throw stuff away so it's all on my nightstand and the bottles are on the floor it's really bad so i'm going to clean all of that up and then go eat my dinner okay so i just finished up rooted by naomi novik we're all done, 435 pages, I think is how long it was. Yeah, 435. So I finished it. I think it's gonna be like a 2.75 out of five because it's not the worst book I read this month, but it's not a full three star. But my full review will be up on my Goodreads and on my bookstagram. I'll have a link to both in the pinned comment if you guys would like to um read my full thoughts if you'd rather read than hear um i know sometimes that's easier for me because i'm a visual person so that is all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and as always comment rate and subscribe and i will see you next tuesday at 9 p.m eastern standard time with a new video bye guys